So we are going to do an expressive drawing. Um, that's part of our abstract unit. There's a lot of different styles of abstraction. And we started out looking at that cubist style when we did our abstract progression. Now we're going to look at something a little more expressive. And we're looking at the artist Fritz Scholder, who is a native artist. And his work was really expressive. Notice how he changes the colors uh, to kind of help tell the story. The figure is somewhat accurate, but it's definitely abstracted, isn't it? He changed things. Now, before you do this, make sure you watch this video. Go to classroom, and on the classwork page it says, Fritz Scholder, Indian, not Indian. It's a great video. You get to hear Scholder describe his work in his own words. And one of the things he talks about, oops, is balancing accident and discipline. He says if something is completely accident, so what? What's, what's, what's the point if it's pure accident? If something is pure discipline, well then it's boring. Okay, so it's all about finding that balance between accident and discipline. So you're working intuitively but thoughtfully at the same time. So we're just doing a small drawing, okay, like a half sheet of paper, a quarter sheet of paper. What we're trying to do is express, express something about yourself. So think about who you are. Like you are many things. You are many people in one. You might be a brother, a sister, a daughter, a son, an athlete, a musician, a student, an artist, a writer, a Muslim, a Christian, a Buddhist. Might be black, Asian, Hispanic, all of these things make up who you are. So don't try to do all of that. That would be a lot. But what's important to you? When you're going to figure out, okay, if I'm a, a brother so, or if I'm a father, what qualities does a father have? If I'm a teacher, what qualities does a teacher have? And then you're going to choose colors to express those. So for instance, if I'm an art teacher, I need to be patient, I need to be calm, and blue will help me express that. I need to have inspiration, I need to be positive, so yellow, passion and energy. And then I'm going to use kind of organic, rounded, flowing shapes, right? I need to be flexible. And that's how I'm expressing my stuff. So what you're going to do then is right, list these identities, choose one, and then list those qualities. What qualities does an athlete have? What qualities does a Muslim have? Okay. What makes you you? Then there's a on Google Classroom again. Let me show you that. There is a color meaning chart. There's actually three of them. And on those, you can find the colors that you want to use. So if I am a calm, I'll bring some blue in there. If I'm creative, I might have to bring in positive. I'm going to need some uh, yellow in there. And then you're going to come up with uh, an abstract work. I mean, you don't have to be exactly like Fritz Schulte. It's not what I'm asking. I'm asking you to work intuitively, to balance accident and discipline. Now you can be fairly realistic with the one on the left. You can be more abstract, like the one on the right. So have fun with it. Be loose. We're playing. We are thoughtfully playing. Look at the one on the left. This person is very somber. Very cool. Very calm. And also maybe a little nature in the background. And the one on the right. There's a lot going on. There's even words that, who am I? This person is confused. Maybe they're not sure about their identity. But it's really cool that they can express that. Using that. Alright? So, that's the plan. Complete that drawing. 
Um, and I'll give you, why don't I give you an example here? So here's my drawing. What I did first is I listed, said, okay, an art teacher, I need to be patient, and I found the colors. Blue, I need to be energetic, orange, creative, orange, actually, and yellow. And uh, resilient, I guess I didn't really add, I mean, didn't, passionate red, I didn't end up adding the black in there. And I use crayons, you can use any medium you have around, crayons, markers, colored pencils. Um, and like we've done before, layer, layer, layer. So as an example, right, start out softly. All right, we can get some background colors in there. Right, maybe I'm going to put some blue to my shirt. That's going to be the, the calm part. And I'm going to get the passion, the energy, the creativity around me. And yes, I'm making this look a little easy. I've done this before. Many, I love abstraction. But start out light, just like we're doing with everything else. And then we can go over the top of this, right? Now we can start abstracting it. All right, I can accent some of the lines with colors. I can add patterns and designs. Right, maybe back here I want to add some of the, um, some elements. Maybe I want to put some, some patterns in here. Add some deeper blues. I can layer colors. I can put some of the orange coming into the blue. There's a lot of things. Like, we're playful here. When it comes to abstraction, that's why I like it so much. Um, we have to be a little bit playful. I need to get some red in here to show that the, the passion. Where am I going to do that? I could put, you know, some red lines. I could add some, uh, you know, I could just overlap some red into my yellow. I could put the red into my eyes if I want to do. There's lots of things I could do. I can do like I did on the other one, add the kind of swirls or circles. So crayons are kind of an underrated medium, folks. If you really layer them, um, they can be very uh, robust. And... So that's the deal. Complete a Fritz shoulder style drawing. And um, then turn that in. Uh, did this put that right, 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 right on the daily snap right here, right? Daily snap, rich shoulder abstraction. Uh, have fun with it. I'll see you soon.